Today we're reviewing the Superior AccuTrack Ultrasonic Gooseneck Leak Detector. In this kit, it was a deluxe model. It came with the carrying case, the gooseneck leak detector itself, the sound generator, and the deluxe headphones. Enough talk, let's get started. What you're hearing now is the leak itself. We're going to move the probe around in multiple different locations until we find out where it's the loudest at. And bingo, we have the leak. Don't really receive anything on this side here. We're going to go ahead and continue checking for any additional leaks. We found the major one. The customer knows that the system needs to be replaced. They just acquired the building, and we're going to go ahead and get them a quote on a whole new system. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and recharge it and get them back up and going. Where this really comes in handy is when it's contaminated rooms like this one is here. Your detector can't narrow it down a lot of times. Okay, we're going to just spray this thing down. All right, so we scanned it with the electronic and the leak is basically going off everywhere you go. And we don't really hear anything out here at all. So let's go over here to the other side and take a look over there. Okay, we can tell it's definitely louder over here on the side. We located the leak on the back side here. And that was only with 40 pounds of pressure on it. Took it up a little higher and was able to feel it. All right, we got us another leak here. Scanning it over. I guess I'm one of the weirdest sounding things I've ever heard. And I've unplugged the unit so that uh, there's no electrical noise or anything like that causing this. The leak detector, it just couldn't narrow it down. It didn't matter whether I used high or low. It was somewhere in here, which is good enough to condemn the evaporator, but I want to know exactly where it's at because sometimes you can uh, be misled by leak detectors. And this is where the gooseneck comes really in handy. This one here really gets me narrowed down into tight spots. Originally, the detector went off up here. So you can tell it's down in this area here. Now, I also picked up another leak. Main leak detector didn't pick up. So there's definitely something right there going on. They're getting louder. So it sounds to me like we got at least four leaks possibly in this coil. It kind of gives you an idea that this coil is not going to last real long and it's going to lose the refrigerant really quickly. So if the customer's like, hey, can you get me by for a short duration of time? You can feel pretty confident that if you recharge this, it's probably not going to last very long. Not when you've got three or four different locations that it's leaking at. And then also you'll hear a lot of noises and stuff. You got to remember I'm using an amplified speaker. You're hearing the things that are running in the room. You're not going to hear that when you're using the headphones. Another thing that you can do with the AccuTrack sound generator here, you can actually check your uh, seals. So whether you're working on a couple of these reach-ins or whether you're doing a walk-in, turn it on, pick whether you want continuous or you want pulsating. Here's a walk-in cooler. Put that thing in here like that. It doesn't really matter where it's setting at. It's strong enough signal that you'll hear it. Wow, you can really tell the difference there. Right there, something that ain't quite right. You know, you could be having some issues with seals. Maybe you got freeze up going on around the top of your cooler. You know, these are all things that you could be checking out. This one here is not the gooseneck. However, like I said, they're both the same sensitivity. They're both Gen 3s. This is what sold me on this thing to begin with. You're hearing the leak. This is 410A with the standing pressure in the middle of the summer. I haven't had to add anything to it. My leak detectors did not pick One it leak, up worth a squat. Two leaks, three leaks, four leaks. So we have four leaks there. Here I'm demonstrating with a couple of my detectors that I had 
and they did not even go off and only one of them did and it was very very weak nothing here I know we hit it right over here you seen how quickly I was able to find it look how long I have to sit there and hold it and if this was on the outside of the coil where the winds blowing you're not gonna catch it just a perfect yeah. example how quickly you can find it by hearing it it's definitely the speed of sound it doesn't always work like that but good majority of the time it does and this was just one time where it made it very simple and easy to point out exactly where the leak was this is another beer cooler had a hard time narrowing it down hear the ticking noise I ended up finding that there was a total of two or three leaks in this coil. Literally, just as fast as you can move it. Now we're going to go ahead and finish up the review of what comes with this particular kit. There's several different kits available. You choose what you want and what you don't want. This one, like I said, was the Deluxe. It's got a 9.5 inch gooseneck there on the front. It uses a traditional 9 volt battery, so you don't have to screw around with any rechargeable batteries. It has about 200 hours of battery life. You have your slide volume control on the side there. And you have your power button here on the front. Push it once to turn it on, tap it again for peak hold. The sound generator was another option. This can be used for multiple different things. It doesn't have to be just for walk-in coolers and freezers. You can also check the door seals on your car. You can look for leaks in the roof and multiple different uses. Any vessel that you want to make sure is leak free. But the most important thing here is having the ability to hear what you're listening for. These headphones have an adjustable volume control on the side, a mono stereo switch. They have a very rugged frame and the padding around the ears is what helps the isolation of the sound around you. A good pair of headphones are definitely important. The basic ones, I've got to tell you, are not the best in the world. So you may want to invest in the better headphones right off the start. The earbuds that I have here are just a pair of Sony's. I've used these over the basic ones prior to getting the kit that I have here. And these do a very good job and they were only around $35 to $55. And they fold up small and easy and they get back into the case so you don't have them getting broken. So you have two different options here. You can either go with the gooseneck or you can go with the one here on my right. Both of these are my Gen 3 units. They both have the equal sensitivity on leaks. They both find the leaks equally well but you know there's just the optional gooseneck there that gets me in the tight spots the one on the right also has a few features that the one on the left doesn't have besides the fact that it is a little less expensive this one has one feature like I mentioned you can unscrew the plastic protective cap here on the end and it has a stethoscope attachment that you can screw onto the end of it with this attachment you're able to check the TXVs to verify that they're feeding correctly you can also check steam traps to see if they're letting the steam through or not you just place it against it and you can hear into it. You can also check the bearings on a motor. So this thing has a couple of really cool features and it works very well. Now once you go ahead and reattach the protective tip there, they also come with a plastic wand here that you can hook on the end. And what you can use this for is to narrow down the sound area that you're looking at. So if you've got a lot of ambient noise that's causing some background noise, you can actually scan right into that particular area and you can find what it is you're looking for. If you guys liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next one.